Hi there, and welcome to another edition of the Ask Dr. Jack Show. I am your host, Dr. Jack Beal. It's here to answer the questions that you ask. Today, getting started on a new year, new life, just awesome possibilities coming up for this next year. I had a patient come in today that has been dealing with acid reflux for years and years and has tried everything, done everything, doesn't know what to do. And I thought, wow, I haven't done an Ask Dr. Jack episode on this for a little while. Let's do a little research and find out if there's anything new. And guess what? There is amazing stuff, really important. Let's get into it so I don't waste your time. Okay, so if you suffer from uh, heartburn, acid reflux, it's quite possible that you are on a protein inhi inhibitor protein pump inhibitor. Uh, they are they go by the name of Prevacid, uh, Prilosec, Asafex, Pro Protonix, uh, all different kinds of them out there. Um, but the question is, how safe are they? And a new research study, wow, 168,000 people uh, were involved in this, men and women. They were taking protein pump inhibitors on a regular basis. They're also called PPIs. Um, and they had more medical illnesses and sought medical care significantly more than patients not taking these acid suppressants. Um, and okay, that's amazing in itself, but here's the thing that's even worse. Um, if you are a long-term user of these PPIs and you are a postmenopausal woman, you have a 92% more likely of fracture from a bone than if you are not taking a PPI. Hello. Now, here's the really amazing thing. If you're a man, the number is even worse. So. Um, big time stuff going on here. Um, the question is, what can be done about it if I don't take these pumps because I can't live with this acid reflux my entire life? And you know what? I get it. It is no fun having acid reflux. But let's look at this, okay? Most of the time, I have found that my patients that have come to me with this problem, the problem is that the stomach has somehow herniated through the diaphragm, at least a part of it, and that part is sitting above the diaphragm. And because of that, the acid-producing cells in that part of the stomach are still producing acid, but because the diaphragm is squeezing so hard, the acid can't go down any farther, so guess where it goes? It goes up. If we can release that stomach, that will often take care of the problem. Now, here's the amazing thing, is that it's not really that hard to do. I had this really amazing doctor, he's 90 some years old when I graduated, so he'd be, well, he'd be really old by now if he was still alive. Um, but he took me aside when I got out of school, as one of my dad's friends, and taught me a couple of very important things that he thought I needed to learn that they weren't necessarily teaching in the schools anymore because of all the problems of doing medicine without a license and all this other crap. So this is one of the things he taught me. And it has helped so many people over the years get rid of this acid problem. So please, if you have this, the first thing I would suggest is come in for a consultation. Let's just check out to see if that could be a problem. If it is, we can get that problem solved and you should have a much easier and better life. If that isn't your problem, we can still give you some help because the biggest thing we have to do is change your diet. So for three weeks, what I'm gonna suggest is you do a diet that eliminates all of the uh, heartburn, heartburn, acid reflux producing foods, such as junk foods, soda, alcohol, NSAID drugs, and sweets. Then I'm going to suggest that we get you on a digestive enzyme 
and a probiotic to kind of help things heal. And we want you to do this for three weeks. During that time, at some point, I want you to go to your medical doctor and ask them how you can get yourself weaned off these drugs. After three weeks of doing this special diet and taking these new products, then what we're gonna do is see if we can't get you to be able to back off those drugs without having the symptoms return. And about 95% of the time, that's gonna happen for you. So what have you got to lose other than a couple of weeks without junk food and who can't use a couple of weeks without junk food? Let's serious, I mean, come on, that's crazy. So anyway, it's really super easy, really phenomenal. Let's go in, let's get you off these medications that are so potentially dangerous to you and let's get you back to feeling happy, healthy, and wise. Now, what I wanna tell you is that this Ask Dr. Jack show is for your entertainment purposes. I am not a medical doctor. I'm not trying to diagnose any symptoms, nor am I offering you any medical advice on how to get rid of it. I am just offering you suggestions as to what you can do to maybe get around these symptoms a little bit easier. I highly recommend that if you are consulting a medical doctor at this point, that you continue to do so, but use his information with the information you get here and then make an intelligent decision as to which is better for you and your life and those of your loved ones. Okay, that's it for the Ask Dr. Jack show this week. I am Dr. Jack Bielitz, your host. I'm a chiropractor sitting here in Omaha, Nebraska. If you have questions that you would like me to look up and reference in future episodes, please email me at askdrjackb at gmail.com. That's askdrjack, and then b-e-e -E at gmail.com, or call up the office, 402-333-4848. Guess what? You can use that same number to schedule an appointment to see if we can maybe help you out with this problem. And if you do so during the month of January, you get the exam at no charge. How awesome is that? The uh, other thing you can do is walk into the office and ask me in person. I love answering questions for my patients. So hope you have a very happy, healthy, and wonderful week. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Ask Dr. Jack Show.